Good evening, this is Luke Thomas from the Coast Trade Video Quake Forecast and at QuakePrediction.com. It is 8.01, 8.01 p.m. on Wednesday, March 16th, 2022, 8.01 p.m. Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. And we've got a lot to cover here uh, around the world. We're gonna start with uh, the uh, Japan earthquake. <clears throat> and there was a, a 6.5 earthquake hit initially. And then right after that, a 7.3 earthquake hit uh, just Southeast of Sendai, Northeast of Tokyo, 5.5 and a 4.6 after that. Uh, we had been uh, testing a new forecast model in Japan, and we had not issued a warning for Japan for many months. And so we issued this uh, warning for Japan uh, about 48 hours ago. We said it was going to be a strong earthquake uh, near Tokyo, and be prepared for that. And uh, it hit as forecasted. Here's the... Uh, Warning area, 15th to the 16th. And uh, that earthquake hit just southeast of Sendai. And here's the uh, current warning area right here near uh, Shizuoka and uh, just south of Tokyo. And then the risk uh, moves offshore. So we still have a warning for the 17th into the 18th where we could get a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is uh, likely in the area near Tokyo and Shizuoka and Chiba. And that extends down to Osaka as well, but most likely in the uh, area near uh, Nagoya and Shizuoka. And that is for the 17th and the 18th. We should get a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in that area, could be larger. Uh, but most likely a 5.0 to 6.0 quake uh, on the 17th to the 18th. And then the risk moves offshore after that on the 19th. And using that same forecast model that we are using for Japan, looks like the risk is a high risk down here, here near the Gulf of California and a high risk near the Salton Sea in San Diego. And that could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 now in that area. And then the risk on the 18th and the 19th shifts to the area uh, from Santa Cruz down to Paso Robles, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, not a whole lot of risk at that time. Uh, maybe a 3.0, 3.5 is possible the 18th to the 19th. But please check back, things change rapidly. Alaska, risk is across the far north part of Alaska, the 17th to the 18th. And uh, that's where uh, things have been hitting. I believe there's a 4.0 up there just recently. In Greece, the risk is very high down here in the southeast portion of Greece, where we could see a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake likely in that area. In the southeast portion of Greece, all the way down to Crete. And uh, in the Caribbean forecast, and this is for the 18th to the 20th, we have very high risk across Haiti and Dominican Republic, where a 5.0 earthquake is likely during this forecast period. The 18th to the 20th, a 5.0 earthquake is likely in Haiti or Dominican Republic uh, during that forecast. Central America, we could get a 5.5 or larger in the area from Eastern El Salvador into Nicaragua or Honduras. So and that's the most likely spot, Eastern El Salvador, Honduras and Nicaragua. And looks like my microphone is way over there. Let's move it over here. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> So uh, yeah, that's where the risk is uh, in Central America from the 18th to the 20th. And in Chile, uh, the 16th to the 17th, we have a very high risk uh, from La Serena down to uh, Santiago, Chile. And a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible in that area. Hawaii, very high risk in the Southern portion of uh, Hilo, Hawaii. It's just South 
uh, of Hilo, Hawaii here in uh, the southern island of Hawaii. And uh, so the 18th to the 19th, we could get a 5.0 uh, to 5.0 is uh, likely in that area of southern Hawaii. Indonesia, the risk is a very high here near Jakarta in western Java. And you can see we just, uh, well, let's see. There was a quake, it was this one. This one right here just hit, this 5.3 just hit uh, about 24 hours ago. And that is in that very high risk area here, the 99% risk area there. Please look it over at uh, thequakeprediction.com to see the most, uh, the latest forecast map for Indonesia and for the 18th and 19th. There's a lot of maps that I'm not showing you that are over at quakeprediction.com that'll give you a better idea of the current map and future maps. <clears throat> so this quake here hit during this uh, warning area for uh, Jakarta on that forecast. Now Iran, here's the forecast uh, map for Iran, the current one, and the high risk is down here near Dubai and the southern portion of Iran. This is the Iran earthquake forecast. This is the Caspian Sea up here and Turkmenistan right here. Iraq is over here. This is Iran. Southern Iran, very high risk. And sure enough, we got a 5.8 and a 4.5 down here in Southern. You can see that right here. 5.8 and 4.5 down there in Southern Iran, right there, the 96% risk area in that warning area there. And then the risk on the uh, 17th to the 19th shifts to the area uh, just west of Tehran in west central Iran, where a 6.0, 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake is possible in that forecast period. Italy, uh, moderately high risk in the way in the far south, not a whole lot of risk there. New Zealand, we could get a 5.0 earthquake uh, near Wellington. Uh, here in central uh, New Zealand. And uh, Christchurch is way down here. But uh, right here in central New Zealand, we could get a uh, 5.0 to 5.5 as possible. Peru, way up here near Ecuador and offshore Ecuador. This map is for the 17th to the 20th. We could get a 5.0 earthquake in that area. Philippines, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 is likely down in Southern Philippines on the 18th into the 19th. And in Taiwan, in the Northern Ryukyu Islands here, we could get a 5.0 earthquake there uh, north of Okinawa on the 18th into the 19th. Once again, the risk in Japan has shifted from where the 7.3 earthquake hit near Sendai down to near Tokyo and Shizuoka, where a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is possible. And then after that, on the 19th, the risk, uh, risk shifts offshore. California again, risk is in the far south. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by today at here at quakeprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. We now have 212,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, 17 years of research. And uh, I wanna thank every one of you uh, for your support here at quakeprediction.com, 212,000 followers from around the world. Thank you very much. And we will talk to you again tomorrow. Stay safe, everybody. God bless.